if any of you are wondering on to why I have a clip of the Sonic Unleashed webisode to promote that was promoting the video game back in 2008, mainly Knights of the Whale Hog. Well, I was originally going to review that, but I decided to review this episode from Hilda, mainly the fact that I wasn't really interested into the ideal of reviewing that webisode, mainly the fact that it's mainly there for entertainment and it's not supposed to be taken seriously. It may be late to address it since tomorrow was Halloween, but to tell you the truth, this schedule really felt like a wild card when it comes to making last minute decisions knowing full well that this episode from Hilda is the second episode that I'm reviewing from this show and since I haven't binge watched this show in a while knowing full well that I'm extremely burned out let's just say this is the only way I'm ever going to address the nightmare spirit from Hilda since it actually caught my interest when I binge watched this show the plot of this episode centers around David having nightmares and he blames it, blames it on Hilda due to all adventures. To tell you the truth, knowing full well that David is the type of character that isn't into adventures and stuff like that and he isn't the bravest in comparison to Hilda and Frita, I'm going to admit that they really wanted a boy character to be afraid when usually the girl character is mostly afraid of doing the adventures themselves. Believe me when I say this is that when you have this method of having the character being afraid of the adventures, it's usually a girl. But since that David is a boy, it actually it actually makes this a lot more different considering that the reason onto why he keeps having nightmares is what makes the pacing of this episode really good. Knowing forward that they encountered teenagers that are weird, and then they came across the Rats Cane, who are the keeper of our secrets. And to tell you the truth, knowing forward that this is the episode where we realize that Hilda is afraid of nothing, really goes to show that the outcome towards the end really makes this somewhat of an interesting subversion if you watch this show for the first time. Mainly the Nightmare Spirit from the beginning, who was a teenager, goes into nightmares in people's sleep, which is David in this case, because she found David as the easy target when it comes to nightmares. Knowing for out that the creatures from this show have different abilities and there was a lot more to get into more characters if I binge watch th this show again. There's a lot going on involving the universe in this show. One of the reasons on to why I'm reviewing this episode as part of Halloween Mania despite being really late is the fact that the Mara, who is the Nightmare Spirit, casts nightmares into people's dreams, which is really common for children to have nightmares during the Halloween season after watching a horror movie. Granted, horror movies don't exist from in this universe, if I'm correct, but at the same time, nightmares is somewhat close to related to Halloween material at the end of the day. Even though that there are other enemies in this show that are much more mem memorable than the evil spirits, what I like about the evil spirit in this, mainly the Mara, is mainly the fact that her motivations is mainly what teenagers do, and to tell you the truth what Hilda said about teenagers being weird, it's somewhat true because teenagers just do weird things from time to time and while going into people's nightmares isn't considered weird, it's mainly a teenage thing to do knowing full well that the teenager who is the Mara is really obsessed with when it comes to going into David's nightmares. Since David isn't strong or brave enough like Hilda, it's really simple for the Nightmare Spirit to make his nightmares a lot more difficult to get over. And with him blaming Hilda about the Avengers, it may be a bit overboard, but considering that he isn't the Avenger type, it really makes sense. And since these types of shows have a main character do different things while the other characters are against what those characters do to the point that they blame the problems on them, it's somewhat natural to say the least. Believe me when I say this, even if you can t 
tell that the other shows that handle this formula was done a lot more differently. Keep in mind, the formula of what this show is doing, of Hilda going on different adventures and experience different activities, is something that David just isn't accustomed to. Frita, yes, but David, not so much. And since the Hilda decides to take one for the team by having the evil spirit go into her dreams, Willie really says that Hilda is the one with all the answers, even though that she doesn't necessarily have all of the solutions planned out when the unexpected comes into play. One of the things that the evil spirits learn after talking to the Rat King is mainly the fact that Hilda doesn't know how to ride a bike. And she doesn't want her friends to find out. To tell you the truth, other nightmares may be odd when it comes to fear being afraid of something that is unusual, but at the same time, riding a bike, even if I did ride a bike myself during high school, can be a lot more complicated considering that Hilda just isn't the type of character that is accustomed to biking while David just isn't accustomed to adventures. You know, as much as Hilda describing teenagers are weird, which is true, you can't deny that they're not dumb, and even if they're not completely intelligent, it's honestly amazing that, that the Mawa just figure out Hilda's nightmare by talking to the Rat King since that they kept secrets and exposed those secrets to someone else. It really shows that the world building in this show is really good, knowing full well that it's just a shame that it's not enough to make this show have a conclusion considering that the hiatus is taking way too long, but I'm not surprised at this point. The execution in this show is a demonstration of what the characters are getting themselves into, since that this is the sixth episode of the series, with Hilda growing accustomed to the neighborhood that she's in, all the while dealing with spirits like the Nightmare Spirit. It really feels like that this show has it all when it comes to how, it, how its execution is what makes the episodes really entertaining and unique. And while I do not remember all the episodes after taking a break from it, my memory will come back to me upon rewatching the episodes. Granted, I could watch the new episodes, but believe me when I say this, it's difficult to get back into these Netflix shows, since that the she and Hilda series were literally the only series I ever watched involving animation on Netflix. With that being said, yes, I'm taking another hiatus from this show, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to find another episode to a view, but you never know. Granted, it may be debatable if this show is mostly entertaining of how it's been on hi hiatus for almost three years, two if you want to qualify the movie. But then again, Netflix series just isn't really my thing and I mostly watch series that are available that are from other networks and whatnot. Not saying that Netflix can produce can't produce good shows because they do, but at the same time, Hilda and she became the least favorites when it comes to my binge watch or rewatch of a show at the moment. I'm giving this episode a 7 out of 10.